Can anybody explain to me or make it make sense why the most popular search engine in the world, Google, and I want to make it clear, I do not use Google anymore, but many, many people do use Google. Again, it's the most popular search engine in the world. Why is the search engine not showing the update to the Department of Defense Directive 5240.01? Because there were people that were asking me in the video that I made yesterday, was I clickbaiting? Was this fake? Was this misinformation? Because when they try to search DOD Directive 5240.01, the September 27th update, they could not find it. But a lot of these people are using Google. Let me go ahead and show you something rather interesting. And once again, Google is the most popular search engine in the world. So you go to Google, you type in DOD Directive 5240.1, and you click search. And the first thing that comes up is this right here, DODD 5240.01, Department of Defense Intelligence Activities, August 27th, 2007. You scroll down, you will see Department of Defense Manual 5240.01, August 8th, 2016, DOD 5240.1-R, December 7th, 1982. Where is the September 27th, 2004 update? There's a random website, I rate 4 by 4 that talks about the updated directive. Let me go ahead and go here. And it's not even a article on the directive itself, but it's a forum. It's a random person talking about the updated directive. So it's just a person's post. Continuing with Google, you'll see something that goes back to April 25th, 1988. Then this right here mentions the Department Regulation 5240.1R, procedures governing whatever, but there's nothing here that talks about the update. We can see prior to the update, the August 8th, 2016 update of this directive, but nothing that shows the recent September 27th, 2024 update, which basically allows the military to attack and fire upon United States civilians on United States soil. I'll go ahead and continue. Once again, April 25th, 1988, August 27th, 2007. We're going to go ahead and continue once again. Nothing here. Nothing here. Why is Google, once again, the most popular search engine in the world, suppressing this updated directive? But I'm going to go ahead and show you something rather interesting. I'm going to go ahead and prove to you that Google is suppressing this very horrific directive, this very horrific update. You go to DuckDuckGo, you simply type in DOD Directive 5240.1. The very first link that pops up is the DOD Update Directive September 27th, 2024 from the actual military website. You can see it right there, .mil. There you go. You can see right there, you click on the link. It takes you directly to the directive, the updated September 27th, 2024 directive. You go to yahoo.com and simply type in the same thing, DOD Directive 5240.1. I don't even have to add the update. I just type it as it is. And there it is, the very first link. DOD Directive 5240.01, September 27th, 2024, where it talks about, once again, the military being able to fire upon United States civilians under certain circumstances that are approved by the Secretary of Defense and Congress. Now, why can I not find this on the world's biggest search engine? You can find it on Google, but it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. You're going to have to jump through some hoops to find the updated directive. So we'll go back to Google and type in DOD Directive 5240.1 update. We will include the update. And while we look at that, the very first thing that pops up is the DOD Manual 5240.01, the August 8th, 2016 rendition. And then the next thing that pops up is the August 27th, 2007 rendition, December 7th, 1982 rendition. Where is the September 27th, 2024 rendition, which talks about how the military can now fire upon civilians?
Why is this Department of Defense directive suppressed on the world's largest search engine? Well, I'll tell you why the search engine is owned by the ABC company. The ABC company also owns YouTube and a lot of other entertainment. So I guarantee you this directive is also being heavily suppressed on YouTube. This directive should be the world's biggest news story and it's not because it is being heavily suppressed for a reason. And we know the reason because it includes a very horrific and terrifying update. This actually shouldn't be a surprise whatsoever that Google and the ABC company, which owns Google and owns other search engines and other form of entertainment would suppress this very important document that was updated but it's still rather fascinating to see in real time that they are suppressing this information and pushing other information out that distracts us. It's also very interesting that news and media are not talking about this very important update. They'll talk about everything else in the world. They'll fact check everything else in the world. But when it comes to an update where the military are approved to fire upon United States civilians in any circumstance, even though they are not allowed to, but now they are approved to, this should be making brain mainstream news. This should be breaking across all of the United States, and it's not, because as we can see, they heavily want to suppress this directive. Really makes you wonder what else is being hidden from us, what else is being